this video is on how to move a DN5800 properly. Uh, some of the things you should know, uh, like any beverage machine, it should never be moved with beverages in it. There's two reasons for this. One, the beverages are heavy and can damage the cabinet of the machine. And two, if the beverages in the machine should shift while you're moving it, it'll change the center of gravity of the machine and will cause it to quickly fall over. So we always want to make sure all the beverages are out. Another is with these DN5800s, the paint on them, this black paint is fairly thin and comes off easily. Like with a lot of your moves, you're gonna to wanna to protect all your corners while you move the machine. You can use these to protect your machine when you strap it up to move if you're gonna put any straps around it. Right now, we don't need to do that. Now, when moving the DN5800, you see they come when you get them with this big warning on them. It says, attention to avoid machine damage Remove the shipping bolt from the carriage prior to operating the XY system. But way down here, it says the shipping bolt must be installed anytime the machine is moved. Failure to do so can damage the machine. Small print, but you want to make sure you do that. The shipping bolt should be located down here below the cup. If you lift the cup up partially, you should have a shipping bolt in place here. This is our shipping bolt here, and this is how it's attached. This is what protects that XY system. It goes underneath the cup holder. There is a hole here. As you can see, the nut is on this bracket. It's built in. It's always there, and that's where you're going to attach your shipping bolt to to protect your XY motor whenever you move the machine, no matter how short a distance. Once the shipping bolt has been removed so you can use the machine, you should place it behind the coin box in this area back here. And that way it's waiting for you the next time you need to move the machine, you can reattach it and move the machine safely. You can now take, close your machine, and secure it. You want to do this so that the machine doesn't have the cabinet tweak while it's being moved. This will help keep the machine from being damaged. Your power cord should be safely secured and stored in this area before moving the machine or using the pallet jack with it. Um, you can even use zip ties to help hold everything together. We're going to put our pallet jack under the machine. This is the best way to move it in between those brackets. We're going to make sure our cord is safely tucked away before we put a pallet jack under the machine and then it should easily roll.